hi and welcome to the reading we're asking the cards are my finances going to improve so we're working with the psychic tarot the fortune cards the dark goddess cards the animal totems and crystals and charms as always as we're talking about finances it's important for us to add a disclaimer which to be honest we would say with every single reading in any way is that if your circumstance comes up you have to use your own common sense um, before you make any decisions don't base your decisions solely on what we are suggesting or saying you still have to make these decisions for yourself and yourself alone we've got three groups for you to choose from go with the one that calls out to you first because it's most likely to have more messages that are relevant for you at this time I'll give you a moment to choose between group one, two, or three. Hi, group one. The crystal you chose is Jet. Jet is good for releasing and learning from ne negative experiences. It's protective and it purifies negative energy. It also helps bring grief to the surface so you can deal with it better. It, it helps with depression, anxiety, and fear. And it also helps to ease changes that are coming into your life at the moment. Wow, well I feel like Jet's going to be a really important um, crystal for you guys in Group 1 to get a hold of. Because I do feel like there's a lot of um, need to sit and take stock of your past experiences with finances. Because I feel like... Um, bad decisions or um people sort of taking you down a certain path and just lots of just negative um energy around finances throughout most of your life has accumulated for you to get to this point um and there's a real need to kind of let go of that past and start just taking a real stock and really kind of facing up to any responsibility that you feel like you need to take um for wherever you're at with finances um and walk through that path of kind of um because it is going to be hard for you i think you've got the obstacles and challenges card which does suggest a difficult journey's coming um but then with the material harvest um you will reap what you sow so if you put that hard work in in trying to let go of the past owning up and taking responsibility for any decisions you've made that's ended up where you are kind of working on healing from that um making yourself sort of quite a tight budget and really genuinely sticking to it um there's no reason why in time um you can't end up in a better place because it does seem like there's there's either a physical conflict with other people so it could be you're going through a breakup of some kind and that's where the finances are coming in um it could be that there's a dispute of some kind with um i don't know maybe you're waiting to get compensation or maybe a business ended and you need to split assets that kind of thing and i can tell that it's affecting your mental health and your mm -hmm. well-being so it is important for you to realize that the material harvest being there suggests it will be a good ending for you for you or at least amicable in the sense of people i think will get what they wanted it won't be if you're concerned that they're you're kind of going to get the bad end of it i don't feel like at the moment um you need to worry about that but it does really suggest that there is still going to be somewhat of a wait it doesn't suggest that anything's going to happen very very soon unfortunately so that's probably not what you want to hear if you're trying to wait for mm -hmm. some sort of relief in your finances because as i say it does seem to be a bit affecting you quite badly all i would say is um work with the jet if you can get hold of some jet and work on not bottling it up and thinking that it's going to go away and sharing your um concerns with someone that you can trust or you can talk to us anytime you want to um because it's it does feel like you're kind of hiding it from either yourself or someone acting like everything's okay and it very clearly isn't and maybe that's just something that you typically do that you are someone who kind of hides their their problems or um if they're feeling low maybe you don't let other people know that the only trouble with that is 
um, and maybe you just think, oh, I'm just going to get on with things, but if you don't stop, mm -hmm. and as Nina said, take stock of things and really work through how you're feeling, then it might end up that your body ends up doing it for you, and you could end up having a bit of a breakdown if you haven't already got to that point. Um, so just know that it does seem like things are going to get better, but there is going to still be somewhat of a wait. Yeah, and it's how you use that wait and time, isn't it? As Raven said, reach out for support and help of trusting people around you or us, um, whoever, you know, um, and use that time to heal from past decisions or heal from um, past hurts and try and just um, use that time wisely because there will be that time to wait. Um, but know that it is coming, so... Because if it is the fact that you have put yourself in this position, say, through overspending or making poor decisions, um, in the end, it's like anything where if you do a repeated behaviour, you can't expect different results. That could be that kind of shadow you need to work through. Yeah. How are you going to stop yourself from getting to this position again? And it could be that you need to ask for help from um, a third party who can deal with helping you, um, you know, end your debt or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, this is something that, again, you can't just ignore and hope it's going to go away because it isn't. Yeah. But, as I say, it does seem like if you kind of put the work in, then there is hopefully some good news coming yeah. for you. It's like making that scary phone call to Citizens Advice or something and making that first step in admitting that you're in some sort of trouble and then having to face it head on is really scary. I totally get it. Um, But Spirit's really in urging you to make that scary step and just roll with that journey and look after yourself while you're on it. Um, I mean, the Dark Goddess cards um, certainly suggest that either there has been some really quite poor decisions regarding finances or you've been suckered in by somebody who's turned out to not be very trustworthy. Because with Medusa, obviously appearances are very deceptive so you see one thing that might look really good, it might be a person, it might be an opportunity, it might be a job that looked really attractive and, you know, perfect for you. But then there was something that just totally bit you in the ass about it and now you feel like you're stuck out on a limb. Um, and with Envy, I feel like there is some people in this group who maybe have overspent because they want to fit in, they want to keep up with friends. Maybe friends go out for drinks, go out for meals, get the latest phone. And maybe you just have never been in a financial position where you could keep up with them. So maybe there's been some loans or some debts or some borrowing. Um, you know, just to try and make yourself feel like you, you don't need to fit in that way, you know, you don't need to have that jealous feeling that other people have got what you don't have, because, you know, abundance isn't just about what material things you have, it's about what heart you have as well. And even if you have to admit to your fault in things, or if you are just in a financial difficult position at the moment, that is outside of your control, it is important not to go down the road of bitterness and yeah. wishing why me and that kind of thing because that just isn't going to help your situation. Not only will it make you feel terrible at the time, but your energy is not encouraging abundance. It's encouraging loss and grief and sadness. So I know it's really difficult because, you know, I think a lot of people can identify with being in dire financial situations and it's easy for me it seems to sit here and say, try not to concentrate so much on what you don't have and concentrate on what you do. But honestly, it does help and it does work. Um, it's just keep practicing that. I mean, in the end, can you change it? If, this is, if the answer is no, then there's no point concentrating on it anyway. Mm -hmm. If the answer is yes, then you take those steps towards doing whatever you can to change your situation. If And as I say, if you can't, then you should try to use that energy more productively by concentrating on the good things that you have and not looking at what other people are doing and what you don't have. With, your, with the fortune cards, I feel like it's saying that important news is actually coming on its way to you and it's news that you very likely have been waiting for. Mm. Um, it will hopefully bring stability to you. So that's good news. Um, but there is going to be a bit of a wait, as I thought. 
Uh, it could be something to do with a contract or some sort of law-based ongoing dispute mm. that you've had. So I don't know whether some people are in the middle of a divorce, separation, or as I said earlier, um, some sort of compensation you're waiting for, perhaps. Um, you know, it's particularly hard if, say, your compensation you're waiting for is health-based, like maybe it's negligence or something like that, and, mm. you know, you're unable to work because someone did something that's caused an injury, and you kind of feel like, well, come on, I'm like an... Not only am I injured or unwell at the moment because of this, but I'm also not getting the news. So the fortune cards do seem to indicate that you will get important news soon, but the actual result of that might not happen as quickly as you'd hoped. Um, so looking at your animal totems, the snow leopard makes me think of high, snowy, rocky mountains. So it just kind of reiterates to me that you guys are going to find this a challenge and journey. It ain't going to be smooth sailing. But the important thing about the snow leopard is that it acts on instinct. It knows when to find its food. It knows when to move, when to stay still. It's a real mastery of listening and trusting your innate instincts. So on that journey through the Rocky Mountains, through the obstacles and challenges, through the waiting game, the snow leopard really asks that you just follow your innate intuition, your innate instincts and keep following that. Trust yourself. Because I feel like you've probably lost a bit of trust in yourself and your decisions and stuff like that. So you know what's right. You know what the right thing to do for you is. You know what your next right step is deep down. Listen to what that is. Don't let fear stop you from making that step. Just go for it and channel that snow leopard whenever you feel too frightened to do it. And not only that, but you also have intuition with the wall. Oh, well, so yeah. it's like a double message yeah. that's fairly similar but this is about, you know, if you don't trust in a situation, you could be talking about a situation that's already happened, unfortunately, but it, if you don't, <coughs> excuse me, learn from that situation, and like I said earlier, keep repeating the same behaviours, mm -hmm. then you're going to keep falling into the same problem. So the wolf is here to tell you to pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. If you don't have a good feeling about something, don't do it. Um, and the more you get to used to listening to that voice not yeah. the voice of fear but your intuition the more you're less you're not going to make poor decisions the less likely you're going to find yourself in trouble the dragon actually is wealth which is brilliant you'd think for a financial reading but the dragon doesn't really talk about riches in the way of sort of financial riches it talks about being rich with happiness and it says that the true wealth is the path that the dragon wants to guide us down so true wealth being wealthy and happiness so going back to what raven said about um so you're waiting for money or you're struggling with money right now so what can you change then work on that what you can't change move your energy from that place of lack and move it to the places that make you happy it is so hard to do i get it but you will totally reap the benefits of being able to change that energy from focused on negative things and lack to focusing on things that make you happy, focusing on things that you can control. You know, you might not be able to control what comes in your bank account, but you might be able to control um, what time you get up on a morning, that a little bit earlier to sit and have a coffee and watch the sunrise, that might make you feel invigorated for the day. Or you might be able to control grabbing your kid and giving them a big cuddle you know try and find happiness in all the little things and then when you become wealthy and happiness then riches will follow with the griffin being there i think it's kind of reiterating further about how perhaps a lot of people in this group have been living more in a materialistic um sense whether that's through overspending or having to concentrate on their very survival maybe in some in in some ways um, so you're being asked to look at whether you're spending too much time con focusing on earthly endeavours such as money and whether you could spend that energy better in spiritual matters. So mm -hmm. if you're someone who already does spiritual things, then carry on doing that and try and have it do it every day. And even if you've never done it before, try something new. And if you don't like it, then 
and you every time you try it you can't do it then maybe try something different but it, i do urge you to keep trying something over and over because it, it is strange if you've never done meditation before or if you've never worked with crystals before or if, you, if you've never done anything like that it is going to feel maybe even a bit silly but the more you do it actually you'll start reaping the benefits and you'll see that actually it's healing it's calming um it even just takes your mind off your problems and focuses it somewhere else uh, isn't it? long enough for your body mind and soul to actually have that rest that you've been asked to do yeah um so i think that would be really really helpful to people also it could be that some people in this group have been having messages being put through dreams and that kind of thing so i'd say that um i would everyone in this group just in case have a, an extra kind of notice of any dreams that might be coming up maybe jot them down and see if there's any kind of patterns in that to see if there's any messages coming through that might help you actually in your current situation now we'll look at your charms well we've got quite a few letters coming through today got more letters than anything else so as normal just have a look through if there's any initials or names or places or um your business bank's name, name. <laughs> yeah. yeah your business name anything to do with your finances i guess um let us know in the comments it would be great to know that some of these letters have resonated with some of you i mean i can see the dragonflies straight away changes need to be made okay this is something you need to be committed to it also could reiterate the ring about the fact that it has had something to do with a breakup or something to do with the divorce or um finances with people close to you that's impacted on this um on this sudden lack of funds um i mean we've got tweety pie and we had medusa that's interesting so i wonder if there's a few people in group one whereby you've been suckered in by somebody or something that seemed attractive and good for you but actually um was quite poisonous especially with the gun there as well um you've made a bit of a bit of a sort of self self-sabotaging decision really not that you knew it at the time but you look back and want to kick yourself um but for you people please let it go please forgive yourself please heal from that and move on because it's going to just become very toxic to your energy if you keep in that place yeah i would really urge some people well everyone but it does feel like there's some people in this group are at, at the brink of a breakdown so really please yeah. please reach out to somebody about this it's not worth your mental health or your life over money it's just not it never is um so if, if you can anyone you feel like you can speak to and you as i say you can always send us a message and we'll try and help any way we can but please please reach out um there's no point being too hard on yourself and it could be because you were trying to be someone you you know you're not as Luna said earlier about trying to keep up with the latest fads and everything and having this pressure to be popular if you like or at least um you know have, might be around the kind of people that can afford it or pretend they can afford it as well because you know what they could be in a very similar position to mm -hmm. you um a lot of people are actually in a lot of debt and they might have a great car or the latest gadget or a great house but actually they're in Really bad like positions. neck deep in debt yeah. and i think that's the case for a lot of people they pretend they're fine and they're not um so you're being asked you know we've had a lot about intuition and the feminine symbols there so i do feel like it's because the masculine is more about the mundane the material and all that and the feminine's more about the spirituality so you're being really urged to step away from the materialism now and really work on your spirituality because it will really help you in this not only find like avoid bad decisions but it'll help you feel better it'll help you trust in yourself again if that's an issue and trust in others as well so there's definitely some healing that needs to be done as luna said some forgiveness for you or for someone else um it's, but you know if you're going through uh, any law proceedings as well know that it will work out okay and not try not to as i said get too consumed by i know it's really hard but, um, you know, spend that energy on something, as Luna said, that will make you happy and something that will bring more happiness into your life or the people around you rather than, you know, basically dragging yourself up the wall with with worrying about it, even though you can't change it. Be grateful. Um, you know, with Imagine, it's often about like manifesting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, imagine yourself with what, getting out of debt. Imagine yourself 
and getting what you want out of this law proceedings imagine yourself getting a job if that's what you need you know whatever it is and and mm-hmm. that could be the spiritualness that you're being asked to do whilst in a meditative state feel it you know smell it all your senses as if it's actually happening right then and if you keep doing that that's how manifesting works but then you have to let it go and trust that it will come to you and that you deserve it as well because that's often people's problems they'll they almost don't feel like they they do deserve that or they're going to get it and that's where celebrate comes in as well it's enjoying every moment in your life even if, if it's small even if it's the only good thing that's going for you concentrate on that because this is supposed to be happening and that's really hard to hear when you're going through a difficult time it suggests to me that that there are lessons that you need to learn from this that you can take forward in your life path so not just in this life but for future lives and it could be that this is a lesson that you know that keeps coming up because you're just not mm-hmm. learning it um so try and make those changes that we've suggested or any changes that comes to mind because this is something that you do need to really look into now you can't just as i said earlier you can't keep ignoring it or thinking it's going to go away on its own because you're very possibly life but your emotional health definitely depends on you finding a solution to whatever problem keeps coming up yeah i group two the crystal you picked was malachite malachite helps us to sense danger helps us to resist temptation it's also good for enhancing the immune system. It helps with observation skills and recognizing your power, as well as helping you grow spiritually, mentally, and especially emotionally. And it also helps you to take responsibility for your own well being. Wow, a couple of things I picked up there that really relate well to the tarot cards is helps you to resist temptation and helps you to see things more clearly because not only do we have the temptation card which is this version um sort of representation of the traditional devil card and um, but we'll have the light and the third eye chakra so there's definitely something that you need to shed light on um for you to see more clearly i think you probably know what that is but you're kind of burying your head in the sand as to what it is that's really um getting you in this situation with the temptation being there there's some bad choices being made there's maybe even some addiction issues or just um putting your finances and your money in all of the wrong things you know um i mean we do have victory and success there so that does suggest things will get better in time but certainly the seven and stand your ground um certainly tells me that it's going to be a little bit of a difficult journey for you because you have to be assertive you have to not only shed light on this and really face up to it but you need to tackle it head on and be assertive and strong in those decisions which might not be decisions you want to make it's an indication that you are waiting to get a promotion or maybe you have got one a new job um and it could be that to get that position you had to um for whatever word suck up to superiors mm-hmm. maybe do some things that maybe you're not even that comfortable doing but maybe going out a lot being invited to things um maybe getting into kind of silly nights out and doing things that probably in the end aren't really that good for you or it could be that you're still currently trying to get this promotion and that's why you're here asking about your finances um the only trouble is with the seven grass stand your ground being there suggests that you are going to be a victim to perhaps envy by others so just be careful about what you're doing to get to the position you want to get to because it'll come back around to you yeah. think about that energy we're always talking about that you're putting out i do get that at the moment you're concentrating on getting to where you want to be to that that promotion or that job mm. or whatever it is you're trying to do but if you step on too many people or you uh, ruffle too many feathers then you might end up regretting it so try and follow more your gut feelings and your intuition and and if you feel like you can't trust someone you're probably right rather than being led along and doing things that you don't feel comfortable with Mm. just so that you can get where you want to get you know I, I do understand it can be tempting to do that because if you are trying to get somewhere you're trying to be successful in your journey or you're even just trying to get a job then it can it's really hard to stay and be genuine and stick to your integrity when it seems easier to 
um, to take that other path. But as I say, it might feel that way at the time. Mm. But later on, you might come to regret it. It's funny, isn't it? Because in your job's almost like a little bit like in your relationship, you start to lose yourself a little bit because you put a bit of a face on at the beginning because you you want to be liked, don't you? And you want to show the best parts of yourself. But you can't keep that facade up all of the time. We've all got those sides of where that maybe other people find more difficult. And if you're trying to keep that mask on for people, it's going to really affect your mental health. And I do feel like mental health's a bit of an issue in this group, actually, with the temptation being there. It's almost like filling that void of all the wrong things, really. If you feel like you suffer from mental health or loneliness or something where you just feel like you constantly need food or alcohol or just people around you, whether they're good friends or not, or, you know, just unhealthy attachments to things that are going to make you maybe for a short while feel better but then in the long term are just really destroying your soul happiness really and that destructive pattern's really affecting your finances as well because whatever it is obviously you're paying for it as well so they definitely need some light shed on whatever this issue is because I don't think you're fully seeing it for what it's really doing to you. I think there's going to be quite a few students in this group as well. I get this impression that it will be probably actually quite new students as well. I mean, there could be ones in other years, but I think there'll be quite a few who are in their first year mm-hmm. um, have maybe overspent because they're being encouraged to go out. And you, uh, it might even be that it's affecting your actual grades or how you're feeling about your work, that you don't have enough time to... Um, put into that so you really need to as it says stand your ground and don't be tempted and coerced into going with someone else because it seems fun or you don't want to say no you really need to start saying no you're like no I have to have this work to do or I can't afford it you know you don't want to kind of spend all your money within weeks Mm -hmm. if you you know if you get um, a loan in or anything like that and then not know what you're going to do for the rest of the time or on top of that maybe you're having to work as well And maybe if you looked more at how you're spending your money and be a little bit more disciplined about, as Luna said, the excess food or drink, or maybe then you wouldn't have to work yourself to death because then you'd have enough money to to cover your expenses. So it's it's looking at priorities and seeing the end goal. What's your end goal? Well, hopefully it's to... um, to graduate you know so that's what the important thing is here i'm not saying you can't have fun you can never go out because of course that's part of the experience but if it's becoming all that it's about or it's actually affecting you um in a poor way Mm -hmm. then that you know you're not having fun are you if you're feeling the stress of it um and you could end up either having to drop out or getting into um health difficulties and for what just because you wanted to have a bit of fun so you know it's looking at things in that way yeah for everyone can benefit from working on their third eye chakra it's come up for a reason so we do have a chakra balancing chakra healing video you can skip to a particular chakra in that so you can skip along to the third eye or you can watch the whole thing but some chakra work and chakra healing definitely um is being recommended for everybody in this group yeah, the thing with that is suggests there could be some headaches well, yeah. and, um, you know, a lot of problems with that kind of head area of your head. So if you get a lot of migraines and, and yeah. yeah, it could be that actually it's because you're not, it's it's either blocked or you're not using it properly. You're not using your intuition. You're not using, mm-hmm. um, you know, following your gut feelings. And so in that way, it becomes unused and it needs to be rebalanced. And as Luna said, you can use a video to do that. Yeah. Um, okay, so with the Dark Goddess cards, with um, Persuasion and Seduction there, I definitely feel like you guys can be easily led um, in the idea of doing something or going somewhere or eating something or whatever it is. It definitely sort of sort of draws you in, um, in your soul. Yeah, so just really be careful. There's definitely some things around um standing your ground again um making sure you're being assertive and seeing what you need and what you want by using that intuition by using that gut instinct of knowing what's good for you and sticking with that because you're being seduced and persuaded by far too many things that aren't good for you right now um and the other thing about your zoomie is that 
not only can other people use persuasion on you um, in a negative way but persuasion in a positive way such as counselling services, um, financial aid services, um, whoever it is like an organisation that you can reach out to at this point it's actually suggesting that would be really beneficial so if you're mental health suffering some form of counselling or mental health support from an organisation would be good um, or if it is purely um, just financial then definitely reaching out to an organisation that works with people around debt and stuff because you're being asked to kind of sit back from all of this um, whirlwind I guess you know um, it just feels like there's a lot going on you feel like you're being pulled in all directions so kind of sit you can ask the goddess Nyx to come in and surround you with that dark motherly spirit um, to take away those worries and take away those stresses um, because it can be a transformative time for you and Pelly rises from the ashes sometimes things need to be burnt down to nothing where bank account might need to go down to 0, 0.00 forward and then build it back up again very slowly and rise up so there's some good messages there yeah I think it takes for you to maybe take that rest choose to stay in or to yeah. um to not do something not go on that holiday or to say no in order to it does feel like you have to transform in some way that there's some things you really need to to look at and see where you need to make some changes um or that if you are kind of feeling like you're you know you can't get any lower in how you feel or how your finances look then think about how a phoenix works and you know they rise from the ashes think of yourself more as that as that empowering empower mm, yourself yeah um you know, we had that with the Malachite as well. Know your power. You have the power to yeah. get out of whatever situation you're in or you know, you have the power to say no or you have the power to decide where you're going to put your energies, where you're going to put your money. And you want to invest that money into something that's going to bring, bring you success in the future, not something that's going to give you a very short, temporary release, if you like, but then actually could end up... Um, bringing you more harm than good later on anyway whether that's through lack of finances or in your health so think about where you can make as I said these changes in regards to your finances and or health and see how you can make your life better um, so that you don't feel like you're a victim any longer yeah the fortune cards um, suggest quite a lot of things we've already said really that some of you may have won some money or it's that you've had kind of a lump of money come in maybe it's through a loan maybe it's through um an inheritance or something like that but you the promotion um a rise in your wages a new job it seems like some on the whole you had have had or you have um quite a lot of money suddenly maybe you're not used to that or you've been earning more than you used to but you might have got into poor spending habits um and you either now don't have any money left or you're kind of overwhelmed it's interesting how overwhelmed you can get to with spending money even if you have yeah. a lot of it or more than you if used it's to. new to you you wouldn't know how to handle it though right um or you overspent and now you haven't got enough money for your bills that yeah. kind of thing and you know that you'll probably be okay on the next pay thing, but it's getting there meanwhile. Um, so you need to kind of not keep, and it, it does feel like some people keep doing that. It's probably every time they get their wages, they spend it in the first two days or yeah. their loan or whatever. Um, and it, you know, also some people may not be able to be doing exactly what they want at the moment. Maybe you're inside because... Um, you're unable to work maybe you're on um, benefits or mm. maybe you're temporarily out of work or um, maybe health has stopped you from going outside at the moment but you've got into poor habits to kind of replace that whatever it is the void, wasn't yeah it, what I that you were saying yeah. in the beginning yeah. um to replace that feeling that you aren't being able to get from whatever it is that you're missing at the moment so it's really important that you don't kind of shut yourself away and get into poor eating or drinking habits or you don't kind of try and 
make the day go quicker by doing something gambling or anything like that because you are it feels gonna end up regretting it um also it's important to try not to be persuaded by your friends particularly it feels like some people might even be childhood friends so people they've known for a long time so you know it's even harder isn't yeah. it when to say no to those kind of people but it could also be that with the third eye being there you might have been working on your spirituality a bit more or you might be becoming a little bit more aware of the things around you and maybe some things just aren't sitting right with you anymore like they used to and it could be that the people around you aren't quite there yet so they're still wanting to go out and drink and party and spend money and shop and or whatever go on holidays and then you might be more in a position of like actually I feel like I've kind of grown out of that bit and it could be that you're kind of drifting apart a little bit yeah. or you just find it uncomfortable to be able to say that say to them actually I don't really want to do that anymore so if that is how you feel or you're wanting to put your energy more into spiritual things you are being asked over and over to really stand your ground and tell them that um i think that's also the case i'll just reiterate what i said earlier about if you know it could be a new job or a promotion you want or a promotion you've got or and it does feel like you may be acting in a way that isn't quite genuine to you or in a way that isn't very good for you because um maybe colleagues or your you know a supervisor or something is is trying to get you to do things um that but as we're talking about finances it, it's not beneficial for you so just be really careful about the decisions you make from here on um in regards to not just your finances but how it makes you feel mm -hmm. because you might be here for that but actually in hindsight you might be thinking you know you kind of got a point i'm not haven't been feeling great about that um and you shouldn't have to change yourself for anybody in order for them to want to be around you and i know that's easier said than done but when it comes to it, maybe not right now, but maybe in a few years time, you don't want to be looking back and thinking, oh, I wish I'd just said this or I'd done this or I hadn't done mm -hmm. that, you know. Um, at the moment, it doesn't feel like it's anything like super kind of dangerous or long term, but you don't know what things are going to turn into if you mm -hmm. keep doing these bad habits or keep being easily persuaded. So I think that's why persuasion and third eye came up, because it does feel like a lot of people in this group are quite easily led so work on that intuition so then you know when to say no the animal totems we've got penguin and fortitude so the penguin comes when you're going through a tough period so i'm sure you can relate to that but the penguin suggests that you just need to stay focused and centered so it reminds me of goddess snakes in the respite okay you need to step back and follow your intuition so hey keep working on a third eye um, the penguin asks you to keep moving forward and handle one problem at a time. There is an overwhelming whirlwind feeling with this group, so I think you get quite overwhelmed. So take a step back, take a deep breath and just take one um, bite size issue at a time. What can I deal with today? You know, how about I... Um, you know ring financial aid today that's all i can manage today and then tomorrow i may go for a walk or the next day you know what i mean so just one little issue at a time because you don't want to overwhelm yourself and slowly but surely you'll start getting that major breakthrough that that big transformation it'll come at you from nowhere because all them little steps and little steps might not feel anything at the time but believe me they do all add up and you will get there you also have mammoth and primal instinct um so not only are we talking about that instinct again um but it's asking you to i think that's the main message really where it's like even though obviously primal is about survival and all your you think of root chakra things where um it's about just living every day and the things you need to do that and there's nothing wrong with being concerned with that but it is also important to balance that up with with spirituality yeah. and, and and also balancing up what that is doing to your health your emotional mental mm -hmm. and physical health um because if you don't balance that up and think about whether it's doing more harm than good then actually you know you're living too much in the material realm and it might be worth you kind of having a look at as i said earlier those adjustments you might want to make yeah now we'll look at your charms
Okay, let's have a look what letters you have. If you see anything that you relate to, any names, initials, um, businesses, bank accounts, <laughs> whatever you feel like you um, resonate with, let me know in the comments. It's always great to see. I mean, straight away I can see the tree. So this is something that's maybe been going on a wee while, or it could actually have some connection to family. I mean, we've got friends there as well. So we'll have said friends could be a little bit of a bad influence on you right now. Um, and it's definitely someone you look up to. I mean, my hero's there. So it's definitely that power of persuasion. Maybe it's just that one person that you can't say no to. Um, and you're helping them out financially quite a lot. Or, um, you know, you think, oh, well, I don't mind because it's just them. But how much are they sort of sucking out of you financially and soul-wise, you know? To have the six of one's victory and success and then to have my hero with that card, I often... Mm think about putting someone on a pedestal, a pedestal or yeah. and you've got my hero so I don't know whether that's because you look up to someone and you're kind of easily persuaded by them or you kind of want to be looked up to so you kind you're putting on the kind of bravado of maybe being someone who's a bit silly or yeah. um likes messing around doing dares that kind of thing but if that is who you are that is who you are but if you are putting on uh, guys to try and impress people or whatever then my advice is that this isn't something that you can do long term it just it just doesn't sit right with your soul to mm. act in a way that that doesn't connect mm -hmm. also even if it's who you are right now it doesn't mean you can't look ahead and think if I keep doing this behavior what effect will it have on my health my finances my future um we all change, don't we? We all grow and change and develop as the years go on. So it's okay to look back and think, actually, I'm not the person I was four years ago. How do I go about telling my friends that? Well, you know, you don't even have to outwardly say that, but you do things in your actions that suggest that and only stick with what you feel comfortable with. It's okay to change and not be who you used to be. Embrace that change. It sounds like you need to. Yeah, and with that, you've got, you know the need for strategy as i kind of touched on with the transformation card you, yeah. you do need to make a plan really uh around surrounding your finances particularly um because thursday's there which is often connected with with money and finances and, and something needs to be fixed with the button that often comes up when it's like there is something that needs to change really yeah and um, with the numbers it can be an age it can be a year a significant number for you a lucky number perhaps but it is also about um, one's often about standing up for yourself, assertiveness. Sometimes it can be the opposite where you're a bit too bossy or in people's faces. So it could be that either of those applies to you. Um, two is all about connections and make it, you know, maybe it is talking with someone about, you know, we've said about connecting with, um, you know, groups of organizations, organizations thank you <laughs> <laughs> about maybe any problems that you're yeah. having but it also could be making new connections new friends maybe surrounding you know with the feminine symbol their spirituality yeah not to say you have to completely get rid of your old friends or distance yourself even it's more like if you feel like maybe they're not quite on the same wavelength of you as you anymore or you just want to try something different that they're not interested in it could be worth you joining up with other people that are more who you're growing into now or they're in interested in the things you're now interested in because it does feel like it's really important for particularly your emotional health it feels here so that does tell me that really you're probably not really happy with how things yeah. are going at the moment um and how you're living your life Hi group three, the crystal you chose is Serpentine. This crystal is good for personal transformation as well as releasing the past. It also helps you to see what's bothering you and helps you to find compassion and forgiveness. It also helps to correct any imbalances that you may have so that you can take control of your life. Wow, excellent. So group three, I mean, instantly answering the question of are my finances going to improve? I would say um yes but you need to take action now so accelerated motion might feel like oh yeah it's going to happen quickly but that's suggesting you need to act quickly so 
I feel like it's affecting your mental and emotional health. You've got suffering and silence there. And there's some really sort of negative words that come with that card, like despair, powerlessness, hopelessness. Um, so I feel like your emotional resilience at the moment isn't great, certainly to do with finances. Um, so it's definitely, the cards are suggesting you need to take some action and you need to take it now in order to get that success you really want with finances. The eight also suggests there's some work that needs to be put into it. Um, you know, it, it does suggest reward at the end of it, but it's reward in relation to the amount of work you've put in. So um, you might already have started doing things towards your finances or this might be saying right now you can't keep putting it off. You have to do something about it. Yeah. And with the triumph and success, you're going to take control of it. You have to personally take control of this. You can't expect someone else to do it for you. Um, and you might feel a bit overwhelmed by that, but you know, you have power there. You have the resilience and power inside you, whether you know it or not, yeah. to get through this difficult time. You just have to um, see that there's some balancing that you have to make. You know, we had that with the crystal as well, whereas with the patients, that's like this version of temperance. So things in moderation, where can you um, make money or where can you save money? Um, are there some things you're wasting money on mm -hmm. but also with this card obviously it asks for patience so it's saying this isn't something that's going to be solved overnight you probably didn't get into this position overnight so like anything where um, it's gonna it's gonna take a while to get to a healthier position um, and this seems like the case with this as well yeah I mean I suggest a good sit down and balance in the books you know, sit down with your family or with your partner, whoever you live with, or if you don't, if you share finances with anyone, you need to sit by yourself or sit with that person or them people and really balance the books. What's your incoming? What's your outgoing? What are you spending on? As Raven said, are you spending on things that don't necessarily need, need spent on? Is the things you can rein in? It really is just generally saying you know, okay, things may be on great financially and they will improve, but you need to personally put your power and strength into taking action and in doing something about it because it seems possible. It seems like it's very, you know, it's something you can, you can definitely do. It could be that you're keeping it from the person that you're currently yeah. with or it could be that you are with a new partner and this, this might be an older bill or debt that they might not even know about and you don't really want to tell them about. But mm. for you to kind of keep it to yourself isn't going to get rid of it. Or if you are trying to do something with it, but you need help and you're just afraid to tell anyone else because you're afraid of their judgment or that they'll be cross with you or maybe that they'll even leave you, then you kind of kind of weigh up the options here do you carry on feeling as you are now asking for advice from us about whether your finances are going to improve and just expect them to kind of improve on their own or are you going to do something about it and take action and, and whether that is um telling your partner or finding help or balancing the books or whatever you know you have to take this into your own hands you can't just expect it to go away because it isn't going to go away I can tell you're emotionally strong deep down. You're just not feeling it right now because things aren't maybe going your way. But I can tell that you've probably experienced hardship maybe in other areas of your life, throughout your life, that's created this inner strength. Now you need to pull that out of you. You need to grab hold of that strength that you've built up over the years and use it in this part of your life and be brave, be strong, face up to what you need to face on, up to and um take the action needed it could be that this maybe you were with someone that was like a whirlwind romance um probably quite passionate and and it could be that they've left you with some debt and that could be the, the kind of thing that you're having to deal yeah. with as well so when we look at the dark goddesses um the guild card really asks us not to let a situation get out of hand you need to own up to your part in it or um really get to the crux of it because that guilt feeling isn't going to get you anywhere you know it's not going to strive you forward positively it's a really toxic emotion so you need to move beyond that um also if it is to do with somebody else there's some forgiveness needed for someone who's hurt you um remember you're not responsible for other people's actions 
um, it does suggest that maybe a guilty secret has been revealed or will be revealed. So if you've been hiding this from a partner or your family, but you really need to own up to it um, in order to move forward positively in managing this, then it is suggesting you need to do that. You need to own up and reveal that secret of whatever you've been hiding in your bank account. Because you know that these things usually end up coming out anyway, well, one yeah. way or another. So is it better that it comes from you in a positive and calm way or that it comes through, say, bailiffs or you losing your house or, yeah. um, you know, a court order or something, you know? I mean, the endurance card does come with some good news. So, yes, it's going to take a while. Yes, it's going to be hard. But the worst is actually behind you. If you take action now as what the psychic tarot suggested then you're leaving the worst behind you you're going to move forward remember that this experience will make you stronger you'll learn from it you grow from it you'll learn the lessons that needed to be learned um all will be well if you endure this hardship the fortune cards suggest that it, it could possibly be for some people in this group a relationship that's costing you um, both financially and emotionally as well. It could be that your self-esteem has been really knocked by this person, mm. whether you're still with them or not. If you are still with them, it could be worth you. That's the balance. And maybe you have to kind of weigh that up and think, is this person really good for me? Because they are costing um, a, in me a lot. And um, maybe they kind of depend on you financially. And sometimes that happens in relationships sometimes the other person is kind of holding the other person up and that's okay but if it's always that way and they don't really give a lot to the relationship and you are obviously suffering for it then it is we really advise you that you look into what this relationship is actually bringing to you um it does su also suggest that you will come to solutions but it'll be in small parts and maybe that's repayments that are very oh, small repayments yeah. um it, you know because it's, it's talking about an ongoing debt or bill that needs to be paid but it'll be paid back slowly and um, this could be a mortgage payment that you might have to look at reducing the payments talk to your mortgage lender or your uh, people who you rent from key, or, isn't it, at this yeah point? any of whoever the bill's for or the debt's for whether it's the courts you can only but ask and explain your situation if you aren't able to afford those bills. Yeah. I know it's almost embarrassing or it's hard to admit that you need help or, um, you know, but they're not going to do anything if you ask them. They'll either say yes or no. But if you don't ask them at all, then, of course, You'll you're going to have to, you know, suffer with it. Um, if it is something that... Um, it was a person who you were no longer with and maybe you are feeling quite burnt with that. It does also actually suggest that you will have success in love um, that will be long lasting as well for some people in this group. Um, so I wouldn't give up on it if that you are that kind of person that now is quite mistrustful of people mm. or with that guilt card being there, maybe you are mistrustful <laughs> of your own judgment of character. Yeah. Um, so there could be some heart healing that does need to actually be worked through, which isn't, necessarily related to finances you might think but sometimes when we have a block particularly with a heart chakra it can actually affect other areas of our life and it's all connected isn't it of course it is if you feel like you deserve what you're getting or you deserve only not nice things to happen to you because of a decision you made or you know the trust you put in a person or whatever then you're you know you're almost giving the universe permission to give you that back you know you're like oh well i deserve to be in debt oh yeah. i deserve this so try and get out of that kind of victim mentality mindset mm -hmm. and yes learn the lessons from that use the serpentine to let go of that um and do some heart healing forgive as we've already said both yourself and that person because then you open yourself up to new energy hopefully financial energy that you can bring in and, and improve your life it won't make the debt disappear but it will make it easier to manage if that is what your problem is at the moment so then you can finally achieve that goal which it will take a while but you will get there so the koi totem um asks that you maybe spend some time meditating so i feel like you're probably feeling quite overwhelmed i mean the suffering and silence card suggests that you've been you know finding this really difficult really distressing so it brings the opportunity for um, that transformation time that you find when you're in that meditative state. You know, it, it brings your mind to a quiet place. Um, so now's a good time to have faith and dream big. Know that you're going to get there and use that meditation time to be a place of calm 
in that storm that you're feeling right now. The horse being there really makes me think of both the power card and the triumphant success because it's talking about mm. you think about how the passionate wild horses mm. and it says you are capable you are strong and you can carry huge burdens over the roughest of roads and toughest of obstacles you have the passion you have the drive and you have the energy so don't give up mm. even when you feel like you don't you are strong and you are powerful okay so the cow's always about nourishing yourself so drinking water eating the right foods making sure you're exercising keep your mind body and spirit balanced um it's really important that if you found that you've been neglecting one of those basic parts of your health whether that be physical emotional mental or spiritual it's going to affect all the other parts because you've become out of balance so try and sort of look at your daily routine what can you do that's going to make you feel like you're um, addressing each aspect of your health every day and that's a way of just looking after yourself while all of this is kind of going on and you're feeling quite low it's going to help you step by step just feel a lot more empowered it's really hard isn't it when with finances i, know, I think it's yeah. one of the worst it's quite for you to care about yourself really and to to really put any energy because yeah. it's all so consumed with that worry that you're thinking well the last thing I want to do is worry about exercise but actually it gives you focus on something else it takes your mind off your worries it will make you feel better about yourself it'll make you feel powerful and worthy as well so yeah. then you take you control have... of your physical yeah health, and it's know? the things you can change as well mm -hmm. you know you might not be able to get rid of the financial trouble completely but what you can control you should you know focus on that and i think that's why you know the hawk is here because it talks about seeing things from a higher perspective and focusing on um the certain things that will help to keep you on the right path and we had it also with the serpentine about it's helping you to see what's bothering you so i think it's it's along with the meditation we've said about and um kind of separating yourself it, i know that's really hard because in the end you are having this problem but try and see it from an outside point of view if it was say a friend who came to you with this problem or um or even if you are in any professional capacity where you're used to this kind of thing think about what you would say to someone if they came to you with this problem and then you might be actually be able to come to some sort of solution easier than if you get too emotionally involved in it and lastly, the um, the buffalo comes with abundance, you'd be happy to know. So abundance and liberation are on their way when the buffalo turns up in your totem deck. So if you've lost a bit of soul strength, if you feel like you're carrying financial burdens, the buffalo comes to teach you how to feel personally empowered and help you relieve that emotional baggage that's kind of weighing you down and making you feel um, in despair basically you can pass that over to the buffalo and remind yourself how actually damn powerful you are how much you can overcome think of everything you've overcome to this point from this moment you're listening to this everything you've overcame you've been able to do it haven't you you've got through every difficult circumstance you've ever faced so far that's amazing you are powerful and you can do that and call upon the buffalo if you need reminded of that and it's not so much how you got here, you're here. Well, that, yeah, you know, that's, that's the past. Yeah. You can't change that. No matter how much you regret or feel guilty or feel bad about it, now you can take control and make those changes in order to make your life better. Yeah. Now we look at your charms. All right. Some letters for you. Let's see if they're going to mean anything to anyone. Any initials or um, anything to do with your finances that look apparent in there, let us know in the comments. Um, so I can see the strawberry. So guys, straight away, the cow told you to nourish yourself, the strawberry's telling you to nourish yourself. You haven't been looking after yourself properly, have you, group three? So get yourself some really nourishing food that you enjoy that's really good for you and treat your body in your physical health with respect and love and worth and that's going to have a knock-on effect to how you feel about yourself in general you're being asked to try and be grateful and i know that's really hard when you're in a poor position for a bit 
whatever small amount, whether it's you have a child or you have your health or you are able to eat that day or you have a beautiful view outside, whatever it is, whatever you find pleasure in, really feel that with your all. And that's another, you know, mindful meditative um, activity. activity to do yeah. actually is because, you know, if you're really enjoying that food and hopefully, as Luna said, that nourishing food that you really enjoy, um, and you really properly taste it and smell it and touch it and everything, it actually really helps your mental health and helps you to be more focused generally on, and, you know, gives you clarity so you can solve problems better. So actually these things that don't really cost anything but can make you um, address these problems easier. And I know when you've got financial problems, you might not feel like you want to treat yourself. But even if it's like just a tiny, I don't know, chocolate bar, or if you're more of a savory person, or if you if you um, maybe save up a little for something rather than you know something. wanting it straight away, um, or maybe you could exchange something with someone else. You know, if you want a massage, maybe maybe someone could give you that, and you could do something for them. You know, there's lots of things you can do in order to treat yourself that don't doesn't have to cost anything or a lot. And you know, with the sweet being there, it does suggest again that treating yourself is important. Mm -hmm. So maybe you've been putting yourself down quite a lot, yeah. feeling like you don't deserve things. So, um, and you've been really hard on yourself. Um, and it does feel like you almost feel like you deserve it, which is really, really sad. You, there's some things you need to get rid of, um, some things you're being encouraged to to banish, whether that's the feelings about yourself, whether it's maybe poor habits or um, things you may be wasting money on, uh, maybe that secret you might have or that burden that you've got on top of you. So you need to get rid of something. You need to purge something in order to make room for new things because... You know, the wish star being there is a nice omen that suggests that things are going to turn out okay. Mm -hmm. And you can get what you want. It just might take some time because it's your destiny. This is supposed to be happening. So there are some lessons you need to learn from this. So if you learn from it now, it won't happen again. It won't keep repeating. So if it, this is something that you think, oh my God, I always attract this kind of person or I keep having problems with money. It's because you're not learning the things that you need to learn. So maybe work through some things we suggested or if anything comes to mind that you feel like could help and you know actually learn mm -hmm. what has happened in this you know what what, what what won't you do again what will you do um maybe that meditation that you've been recommended with the koi carp will get you more in touch with trusting in yourself again trusting in your intuition because it's definitely surrounding a partnership of some kind and someone you possibly even idolized really looked up to um not necessarily but it does seem like more likely a love relationship. Um, but this person very possibly got you in some difficult positions, got you into some financial problems, or um, maybe did you did something with them that in turn has caused some problems in your life, which mm -hmm. is then maybe it's to do with, with crime, and so now it's difficult for you to get a job, that kind of thing. Um, so it's really important for you to be assertive um, to stand up for yourself, to not be coerced again into doing something you're not comfortable with. Because um, the numbers can be um, ages, uh, years, significant lucky numbers. Um, but it does talk about, as I say, the partnership and also the need for you to take control of your life. You know, mm -hmm. I said that with the triumphant success card as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can't expect things to just to just work out. You're going to have to take responsibility um, for what happens in your life so that you can finally fulfill the dreams that you've always wanted.